Bandung, April 5th, 2024 My dear best friend in the future Hello Christine, how are you doing? I'm writing this letter to you after completing our book review challenge in the last week of March. The book made my mind drift away for a while as I stared at the endless dim street lights from the bedroom window. Will the future of the nation's children suffer the same fate as written at the end of this book? Suffering with ignorance, resulting from the loss of interest in literacy from civilization. Ah yes, back to the topic. How are you in the future? Do we still exchange book reviews every week? Have the old books that we can only find in the corner of the library already been replaced by neatly covered books without the slightest tear? The cultural literacy movement program promised by the region for Ajasari residents, has it been implemented? I hope so. Christine, this book really brought thousands of questions and worries about the future out of the bottom of my heart. Actually, after that last book, there was another reason why I decided to write a letter to you in the future. Let me tell you a story. This is a story based on experience with my own father. At that time, he and I were visiting his friend's book cafe. Honestly, sometimes I'm grateful to be able to grow up in a family that loves books, at least supporting myself to do what I like. In a nutshell, my father hadn't visited such a bookstore for a long time, so he looked very happy. I used to visit this kind of place sitting casually while reading a book in the corner of the room. He chuckled, holding a book, smelling the fragrance of paper, opening page by page of a book feels like it's been a long time, because since college, everything has been using mobile phones. I hope you can pass on your love of reading to the people closest to you before it is lost in the missed times. My conversation with my father at that time is running through my mind. What if in the future, the books and reading interests of the majority of human beings completely disappear from civilization? It is a pity if the interest in reading in our country is getting lower and books are replaced by the era of digitalization. Does holding a book feel strange to you in the future? Meanwhile, we both dream to become a fiction novel writer. Will this happen? I hope, of course, is your answer. Plus, the development of technology today has become more sophisticated. I don't know since when, Indonesia and other countries have made IT a top priority, leaving books with beautiful writings abundant. The era of technological improvement, digital development, dominating robots, and foreign cooperation makes the world look more luxurious. Who doesn't love it? After all, for a long time, Officials have been intent on moving the country forward. However, the democratic voices of rural children like ours have never been heard. Christine, has the social activity to increase interest in reading that we planned while sheltering in the library been carried out? I often think about my role in our ideas. Sometimes, the book reviews I threaten, I read it over and over again, and then think, is there a result of our vision? Shouldn't we just give up and let ourselves be swept away by globalization? After all, what can a 14-year-old child do? Time after time, fear haunts my desire to increase interest in literacy, especially in this country. Although time is eroding our opportunities, I am confident that what we do today will be useful in the future. The future is for those who are serious today, whether woman or man, regardless of race, ethnicity, social or economic background, we all have the same rights to see the future. But then again, it's all back to ourselves. How willing are we to pay for the future with the pain of hard work? How much do we struggle with laziness, wanting to give up, and not caring what people say? Because decades from now, our future selves are an accumulation of the decisions we made today. I think that's all, the paragraph by paragraph that I can write for you and our country in the future. Hopefully, my good wishes can come true. 
whether it's from us or others. Hopefully, our future is the result of the struggle of the next generation of the nation who want to improve this country. Don't forget to reply to my letter. Take care, literacy friend. Warm records. Naira Novelia Kusuma.